and welcome back to Studio Tamara, the Mystical Painters. Today we are going to be making ink out of the pokeberry weed. So this is kind of cool because it's a crossover between my gardening and my love for nature and herbs and my artistic uh, side. So the pokeberry looks a lot like a purple grape. Um, if you eat too many of the berries, it's poisonous. The roots are also very poisonous. So I'm going to show you what the pokeberry looks like. Um, I know in early spring, some people boil the greens when they first come out of the ground. That's okay. You can't do it later on. There's too many toxins in the plant. So um, I'm going to show you what the plant looks like. I'm going to give you the recipe to make ink out of the berries. And then um, I'm going to do it um, step by step in this video so you can see how it's done. Uh, one more thing is there is amongst the foragers and the herbalists a little bit of uh, hubbub about um, the berries and arthritis because the berries have long been used by Native American Indians as um, medicine. So from what I've read, and I'm not a doctor and I'm not suggesting this, I would suggest do some more research if you're interested, but from what I've read for arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, um, you dry the berries and you eat two berries a day. Um, and it's supposed to take away arthritic uh, pain and rheumatoid arthritis pain. So, very fun. Also very fun, check out my dress. Oh yeah. Can you see it in my skeleton back? <laughs> Halloween tis the season. All right, pokeberry ink, here we go. I some pokeberries yesterday and I have them out to dry. I did get stung by a ground wasp, so be very careful. Here are some of the poke berries I have on baking sheets out to dry. I'm gonna take this one, I think, for some ink. But first, we're gonna go see how many fresh ones we have. Here are some poke berries. I was trimming some of the bushes down. These are berries that have not yet ripened. Socks on the poke berry are this beautiful maroon magenta color. Berries are poisonous. Got the little stove going. And here is our recipe. So what we need is two cups of ripe berries, one teaspoon vinegar. Our equipment uh, will be mortar pestle, a wire mesh strainer, cheesecloth, latex gloves, and two wide mouth mason jars. Okay, so let's get all of our supplies. So the first thing here, it says, um, of course you know that we have supplies. So here's the wire strainer, the mortar pestle, which I am using a marble one because I don't want the juices to absorb into a wood one. Also notice I've marked the bottom poisons. You don't want to use the same mortar pestle for poisonous things that you're using for kitchen herbs and teas. Okay, that's really good to know. Here are the mason jars. I'm using quart size. I'm going to put gloves on before we go any further. Light a little incense. Makes it smell nice. Oh, how I love my little witchy garden she shed so much. Okay, let's begin. Anna, kitty. Okay, fabulous. So, here we go. Let's bring this in so you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to begin. Okay, so it says two cups of the berries. I have gloves on. Here's a two cup plastic Pyrex. And I'm going to just take the berries off. Ugh, look at that. Ooh. This will be so cool to have this beautiful purple ink. Oh my God, what a mess. And look, we have a visitor, Kitty. Hi, Kitana. Look at your little kitty cat. There he is. There's 
for my kitty. So we're going to strip all the berries. I think that's what it says. This is the first time I've done this. So harvest two cups of ripe dark berries. Okay. Next, rinse the berries allow to dry, which I've done. This is why they're on the plate, tray, cookie sheet. You want to try and not let these get on the floor, the carpet, the counter, because they are very colorful. And you, isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? We are having fun here. Okay, we're almost to two cups. As you can see, they're messy. So as you can see from my little recipe here, I got some ju juice on it. The stuff stains. It's bad. Oh no. Okay, so we need to put berries in a mortar pestle. Place in mortar pestle. Crush. Ooh. Kind of fun. Makes you feel like you're uh, back in the old world days. Imagine how many people have these growing in their yard and they do nothing with them. Or how many silly people eat them and get sick, poisoned, and some even die. Yeah, you don't want to eat things unless you're for sure you know what they are. Isn't this fun? It looks like grape jelly. Okay. So you mortar pestle, crush, crush, crush. Oh, happy ink. I intend to use this to do some fabulous, happy drawings. And... Okay, now we're gonna pour this in here. Okay, looks like it's taking quite a few minutes here for this to, maybe I didn't crush it enough. It is dripping in the jar. So this is really messy. You might want to go to the dollar store and get a dollar store tablecloth kind of thing. I wonder why they have us use quart jars. I think a wide mouth pint jar would be enough, but I could be wrong. Well, you let that drip. Oh gosh, I just realized I don't even have the light on. How do you see anything? Maybe that's better. Now we're rocking. It'd be really cool to use this in a painting. I mean, art and creativity is not just store-bought tubes of paint and a canvas. You can use stones and sticks and berries beet juice, coffee, tea. You can make all kinds of artistic things. So we're gonna add a little more to this. This makes me feel like a kid. When I used to cook in my mom's kitchen and make such a mess. When my dad and I would make hot fudge and eat the whole batch. Oh yeah, those were the fun days. Next time I go see my dad, I think we're gonna make some fudge and eat the whole batch. Why not? Okay, so this is certainly taking longer than I thought. I wonder if I use cheesecloth, if it would work better. So here's some cheesecloth. Let's experiment a little. You know this is gonna be messy. I'm going to cut a little piece of cheesecloth. Okay. So we're trying the cheesecloth now. And it doesn't look like it's doing very good. So I'm going to squeeze it. I guess that's one way to do it. Guess you could dye cloth with this. Look at that beautiful color. That didn't work so good. So 
I'm gonna go back to the directions. And you'll see in here all these little berries in here. They would sound real gritty. I almost feel like I need a bigger drainer though. This is these holes are so tiny. Plan on making some really cool things with this. Just let it drain. You wouldn't want to do this over white carpet, that's for sure. Look at these luscious berries, they're beautiful. It's so much fun to use things from your yard for art and ink and remedies and anti-itch and healing. You know, the earliest uh, of what we call today doctors were the healers and the midwives in the villages. Pharmacute. Sounds like pharmaceutical, doesn't it? Prescriptions. Most of them are derived from plants. It's a very fine line between plants, you know, that are toxic and non-toxic. Often it's just dosage, just like what else? Prescriptions, right? Medicine. I believe food is medicine, too. Okay. Isn't this fun? Oh my gosh, this is so fabulous. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. Um, September 13th, it's fall time, so season change in Michigan means everybody has sniffles and hoarseness. All right. Crush them in the mortar pestle. Uh-oh, I'm getting them on the floor. Time out. Isn't this fun? Oh my gosh, what a mess. Well, we'll have some beautiful purple dots on the floor. If you get the juice on the floor, ah, it's a mess. A little water should take care of that. Get it right away. <laughs> yep, we got a little pulp berries on the floor. Uh oh. Bloopers. A little water does a pretty good job. This is so fabulous. Kitty, hi. Hi. Pets are welcome. Just don't let them lick. Whoa, sorry, BB. Don't let them lick the berries. Right? This is little Vinci. Love him. My buddy. Okay. This happy accident has birthed quite an exciting idea. So I had this stain out on the porch and I tried to put water and scrub and I noticed it's not coming off at all. You could stain wood, you could do art on wood and it would be permanent. You can also do art on toes. 
the toes are now covered. Take in it. and you put in one teaspoon of white vinegar, swoosh your jar around, and then you can use a funnel or a hand pour if you want to live dangerously. I did that. Oh, yes, I did. And pour it right over this pink towel so if it gets a little on there, it's all good. And then I made these little little jars you can dip your pen in. Uh, there's another one. Some little jars. Here's my big one. So this is what we end up with after all that mess, but we had so much fun and we get to try something brand new. And I learned you can paint on clear wood with Pope Perry juice and it turns a fabulous pink. I love it. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate um, all my subscribers and my Patreon followers. And I wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. The more subscriptions and thumbs up that I get, the more I can keep putting out free content. We're going to head in the studio now and do some painting. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.